Welcome to the series Keep Calm and Kanji On for learning kanji used in Japanese. The reference material I am pulling from is a book by Robert Everman, which can be bought on Lulu or Amazon, links below. This video series does not serve as a replacement for a classroom, so in order to truly benefit, you should buy the book yourself and do the daily exercises and weekly reviews. Alright, let's get started. This is the 21st most common kanji. It means hand and is also used as an occupation suffix. Now, let's go over the four most common words that use this kanji in order. This word means skill. The first kanji is pronounced jo, and the second zu. The first kanji is from previous episodes and it means above. The second is the one we just learned, hand. Together, they make upper hand, and one way of having the upper hand is to have more skill. Next, we have major company. The first kanji is pronounced o, and the second, te. Again, from previous episodes, the first kanji means big, and for the second, we can use its secondary definition as an occupation suffix. This gives us a big occupation place, or a major company. Next, we have before. The first kanji is again pronounced te, and the second, mai. The first kanji means hand, and, as we will learn later this episode, the second means before, giving us before hand, or just before. Next, we have skillful. The first kanji is pronounced u, the second ma, and the final character is the hiragana for i. The first kanji means above, the second hand, and the standalone i indicates an i adjective, as we briefly went over in the previous episode. Together, we get handy or skillful. Cool how these are synonymous in both English and Japanese, right? If you need further review, feel free to rewatch this video, buy the book this series is based on, links below, or another self study resource of your choosing. And remember, don't panic. You got this. Bye!